Okay guys, we're at the new location of Campion's Taste of Chicago, and I gotta say that there's no handicap parking right in front of the entrance. They've got a slope here for a wheelchair, which I am in currently because you guys know I just had foot surgery, and we have to squeeze between these pylons. I think we can get through. So just be ready for that if you have handicap parking. It's not, it's not up here over in the back of the building okay so uh looks like they're a little slow but they've been jamming it's just uh it's just a weekday and and holidays are over that's why oh and we're here before dinner time so first thing we see is a sign for a vienna beef uh chicago dog if you've never had a chicago dog they're extra special they got the little poppy seeds on the bun they're famous for the little green peppers inside the dog. Mustard and pickle. They got nice big screens for sports. All right, here's a quick look at the menu here. I'm gonna go down the, we got a, a kind of a paper one. So you can see everything, meatballs. Meatball sandwich would be interesting. But as you know, the Italian beefs right here, Chicago eateries are famous for the Italian beefs. And then the combo sandwich of the Italian beef with a sausage in it. What is that ordering guy? Little gray, some gray, dripping with gravy. Hmm. Didn't even ask us how we wanted it. Yes, she did. Oh, what did you tell her? Um, Maya, she said it all the way. No, no, no. She didn't ask me if I want a little gravy, some gravy, no. dripping with gravy. She didn't give me any choice. I didn't have any. No. It wasn't on my sandwich. How much is your beef by the pound? Beef and gravy, $17. Okay. And then here's the last part. There we go. For the kids. Uh, I just want to show you this part. For those of you who want to eat healthy, the salads, the soups, the chilies. Five twenty-nine for chili cheese fries. What is this amusement park? We're literally in the middle of Glenitzville. The new location on Long Hollow Pike. They even got their famous T-shirts, fifteen dollars a piece. You come here and you really like it. Uh, this is, a, I guess, that one in Gallatin too, huh? Gallatin and Glenitzville. Cool, nice wooden tables with your basic condiments. They have napkin holders. I mean, inside which is really cool. Catch up on every table. Okay, so I've, I've done a review here before, but not this location. This is brand new and they're kicking it. They're doing really good uh, because of all the football games and everything. So, uh, so yeah, so if you're gonna get here, get here either during the week when nobody's here or if it's Friday or Saturday, get here before uh, dinner time, about 30 minutes before dinner. Okay, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five onion rings. Three ninety nine for five onion rings. Three ninety nine for five onion rings. Okay, I'm kind of stuck on this. I'm not even gonna say. I'll let you guys come up with what you think. Three ninety nine. One, two, three, four, five. And how much was your Chicago dog? Three ninety nine. Four dollars for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, you get a total better value at Costco or Sam's Club. No, uh, it's beef. I know. Um, Sonic. Oh, how much Sonic? I think they're like, I don't know, they're like two ninety nine. I think. I think they're three ninety nine for their footlongs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you get a footlong at Sonic or a Sam's Club Costco dog. It's huge compared to this one, but. They're, these people are famous for their uh, Chicago dogs. Mm -hmm. How many other rings you get? One, five. two, three, five. Three nine nine? Yep. Okay, and, and, and I, didn't, nine nine. I didn't want They like that number. Yeah, they like three ninety nine because that's a three ninety nine cannoli. And uh, it's a little interesting. We'll try that out in a minute. And then I've got the, uh, how much was mine? Nine nine nine. Mine was $10. Hey, that's, that's like half a cent. That's, that's like a $5 sub. You got a whole sausage in there, too. You got a whole sausage in there? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
That's cool. What would you say that's a five or six inch? Mm -hmm. Probably six inch. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't even rolling. You just dove right into that hot dog and. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead, take a bite. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. You like those peppers? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The taste is like portillos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying the canola next. Mm -hmm. yeah, you've had real canolas, right? Yeah. That filling looks funny. Well, there's a chocolate. It's more like, it's more like tartar sauce. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Tastes like a real cannoli? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look here. It's got a lot of filling. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. I was a little worried about the authenticity, but if you say so, I totally believe you. It's like it's thin and flaky, which is good. Okay, so first let's talk about all the good things, okay? Because I have a few criticisms. Um, the good thing was everything was fresh. The bread was cracking in my hand like it just baked it, all right? The cannoli looked like it was just made. Everything just tasted like they made it for us, right? Right at the counter. But they probably didn't, but it did taste really good. Um, number two, uh, we're full, like way full, which is kind of weird because we had so little and yet we feel totally stuffed. Not stuffed, but you know, full. And uh, now onto the criticisms. I would never pay these prices again. That was a six inch sub, basically, is what I ate with sausage and roast beef. I can get that at Firehouse. I get a 12 inch for the same price. I paid $10. I got five onion rings for $4. Oh, it's crazy. So the prices probably aren't, I would never ask you guys to pay the prices here. So I don't recommend coming here, but and another positive point that I noticed on the way out, these are the nicest people, the happiest people. You know how sometimes I'll say they feel like they're just pulling a paycheck? Not these people, they really care about you here. So I must say, they care about you, the food's good, you get plenty of food, but it's a little pricey. It's like you're in Chicago. I'm not in Chicago, I'm in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. I should be paying these prices. So anyways, I love you guys. Um, if you do come in, Tell them you saw it on Jack and the Go, but in the meantime, I don't recommend you spending the money, all right? I love you, take care, bye-bye.